There's a plethora of JavaScript frameworks and libraries out there for you, for you to use as part of your web page. Um, but probably one of the oldest, most distinguished, and most common is something that's called jQuery. jQuery is used by Bootstrap. It's used by a bunch of other frameworks. Um, and it sort of provides a common uh, set of functions and libraries that are used by a bunch of other JavaScript frameworks and in a bunch, on a bunch of pages. So what is jQuery and what does it do? To some degree, jQuery emerged out of the, a need to try to hide certain differences between browsers that existed at the time. When I deliver JavaScript to a browser, I don't want to worry too much about differences between how browsers render the page and other things like that that could cause my web app or my page to load or look differently on different browsers. And so jQuery originally emerged as a way to sort of paper over and eliminate some of those differences, which I think have sort of converged over time. Um, but jQuery still is sort of proves to be quite useful. So uh, what's an example of something that you can do with jQuery? OK, so I'm, I'm at my group's uh, website. This website has jQuery loaded. A lot of times jQuery is loaded into this dollar sign variable. So this is sort of the entry point into the, into the jQuery library. Um, as its name implies, jQuery is frequently used to make queries over the, the page contents. And there's a particular uh, way that you do this in jQuery. So for example, here's a way to um, find all of the H3 tags on the page and print how many there are. So this is going to print 21. There are 21 H3 tags that are present on this page. Now let's say I want to print off the text contents of every one of those H3 tags. Um, I can also do this in jQuery. It provides me with this way to write an iterator. Um, and I'm going to do um, Yeah, there we go. So um, you'll, you'll notice that what this did is it went over all of the H3 tags on the page, and then it printed off the text contents. And the, the, what you're seeing here is that I'm using H3 tags on this page for the names of my students. So this is Ali, you know, this is Lakshmi, this is Scott. I'm up there too. And then at the bottom, I have a collaborators tab uh, that has some of the people that we work with. So, um, so this is an example of, of the types of things you can do with jQuery. jQuery also has uh, the ability to do um, AJAX requests. So it can actually make calls to web pages and retrieve contents. jQuery can do animations. So it can animate uh, you know, text coming in and coming out. jQuery can be used to adjust the styling on the page. There's you know, all sorts of things that you can do with the jQuery library. And it's a good place to get started when you start to learn how to program JavaScript because uh, rather than using some of the browser interfaces directly, it, first of all, uh, sort of, like I said before, eliminates some of the cross-browser incompatibilities and differences that you might find. But it also provides sort of a, a more powerful and more succinct way of expressing some of the things that you might want to do when you start to program web pages. One of these items, um, except it actually didn't. Let me try it. Let's, uh, let's start this one over. Why? Because you're... <laughs> <laughs>